What's going on everyone? It is Joe the Lawn Warrior back with another quick video today. Just a little summer update video and show you how my grass looks after not throwing fertilizer down for 42 days. So let's get started. So as you guys know, all my intros have that trust, the process in the beginning. And honestly, you really do. If you just trust the process and trust what you're throwing down, things could look like this. This lawn looks so good for 42 days. I haven't thrown fertilizer down in 42 days. And the last time I threw down that fertilizer, I only put down 0.25 pounds of N. That's it, 0.25 pounds of N. And you could see, this has just been working really slow, really good. And that grass, man, it is super green. It's thick, it's, it's keeping its color. Am I dealing with some fungus problems? Yeah, but here in Jersey right now, it is humid as hell. So today it was about 90 degrees it got up to. It's Wednesday, July 20th, but the humidity has been way through the roof. It's just, you could feel it. And with that and, you know, watering and rain and everything, it's just, we've been getting some fungus. The fungus that I did have in here a couple weeks back, that has definitely grown out, but I can see some more creeping in again. I do have a couple problem areas, but I'm probably not gonna be able to address them until the fall time. This particular spot right here, um, as you can see here, I got some sort of dead spot or some kind of problem right here, but um, I threw down a little uh, a patch here, which is it's really not gonna do much. It's hot, it's humid. Not much is gonna grow here. If some of the bluegrass uh, fills in here, great. If some of that patchwork fills in, great. But if not, we'll just hit it with some seed next year. And then next year, I'm definitely gonna be getting my fungicides down when I'm supposed to and putting down the correct rates when I'm supposed to. So hopefully these certain problems that I'm experiencing won't happen next year. And like always, this is my favorite spot of the yard. I have the flagpole there. Just love that flagpole right there. But this grass over here is looking great. Um, as you can see, the color is there. Obviously, you know, when you see pictures out there of different lawns, it really all depends on the time of the day. Really, honestly, that daylight and the way the sun hits on those pictures that you see of those beautiful stripes, it's all about lighting, guys. It's really, honestly, it's all about lighting. You can see here, it's, it looks a lighter color here. And then over here, you can see it looks darker over here. It's all about that lighting when it comes down to it. But as you can see, I'm super happy today. So over here on the side of the yard, same thing, color is there, it's looking great. I do have a coverage spot on my sprinkler system, especially this section right here. I'm gonna probably have to adjust the sprinklers just a little bit. I have a line that kind of runs up the middle here. I'm gonna try and maybe put a head over in the corner over by that, that fence over there just to get this area, because this area definitely, uh, it's you could tell that it just it, it needs more water and uh, the sprinkler out here that's out the street kind of pushes the water out to over here and it's not covering everything completely so what my plan is to do is probably just move one sprinkler or just add in head which shouldn't really be that hard at all because I, I know where the lines at the great thing about when you put a sprinkler system in yourself you really know where these lines are so if you ever need to tap off of those lines it's great you, you know where they're at because you did the hard work if you did the hard work like me and actually dug it out these trenches you know where those lines are so hopefully i probably do that probably sometime in august before the fall overseed for now i'm just gonna let it ride see how the rest of the the summer goes and we'll just address it you know right before that fall overseed time as you can see, a Simplify program, it really does work. And I've only used three fertilizers, that's it. One granular and two liquid. Obviously the granular was the 1825, and then the liquids, the macro fuel, which is an 1803, and then the micro fuel is a 100, it has just a bunch of good micronutrients in it. That's all I've sprayed out, that's it. And I've used some fungicide, obviously, because you need to have a fungicide. I learned that the hard way this year with the humidity and just the different things that have gone on in, in New Jersey this year. The fungicide, little weed control to get some of the weeds out, and that's it. You don't need a ton of products. I saw a video recently. Uh, it, was, it was on the Joe Knows Turf segment of the Grass Factor. A guy threw down 10 products. You heard that right. He threw down 10 products. Now, don't get me wrong, he did have a disclaimer that this is very aggressive. He doesn't re re recommend you at home to do it, but why waste that money? Why throw down 10 products? Are, are, are those 10 products really gonna work? 
So before we finish up today's video, I did something that I didn't do last year that I wanted to do this year and actually kind of worked out. Kind of cool little comparison that I did. So one of the last things that I wanted to talk about that I did was is I actually got a soil test done by this company right here, soilkit.com. These tests right here were on clearance at Lowe's for only $6. So I said, what the hell, give it a try. Only $6, you can't beat that. Prepaid postage, all you gotta do is put your cores, your, grind up your cores, throw them in the, the bag, and then all you gotta do is mail it out to the company. So inside the kit here, you have your little baggie right here that you fill up, it has a, a QR code right on there. All you gotta do is scan that in. Then you can log in, register your kit. There's the prepaid postage right there. It gets down, it actually gets mailed down to uh, Georgia is where the lab is at. That's actually where the postage is on here. They do the tests, I would say within about two days after they received the tests, I got my results back and here are the results. So I'm gonna throw up here the soil test that I got back. As you can see, I pulled the cores on July 13th. I pulled my cores earlier in the year on February uh, 28th was when I did my initial first soil test of the year. I sent that one out to Spectrum Analytic. I just wanted to do a little comparison right here of just basically the big MPK, the big ones that are in the soil test. So as you can see, overall, I mean, everything looks pretty, you know, solid uh, as, as as far as variances and things that are up and down. Obviously, my phosphorus is high. I know that my potassium is kind of what, somewhat in the middle. You know, my pH is pretty good right there uh, as well. So things are, are pretty good. Uh, obviously, I got high iron, things like that. My phosphorus level, as you guys know, I'm trying not to throw down any phosphorus this year. So the fertilizers that I'm using, especially what I've been using in the summertime, the macro fuel has no phosphorus at all. It's an 1803. Um, and then in the fall, we're going to be doing an 1825. It's a very small amount of phosphorus, only 2%. It's really not going to change much, probably. As you can see, my phosphorus level hasn't really changed much at all 0.28, it went up. I mean, that's not much at all. As you can see, I did have to convert the parts per million, uh, the PPM to pounds, because the soil kit test is based on pounds per 1,000 square feet. So I just did a little conversion right there. And as you can see, overall, not much of a change so far, but again, I'm gonna probably do another test at the end of the season as well, just to give us a good idea of how everything ended up. That's it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions or concerns on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys are making out this summer. I mean, so far right here, I'm doing really well, and you know, I wanna keep it that way going into the fall time. So let me know how you guys are doing and what you're experiencing where you guys are at. If you enjoy today's content, guys, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok, go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Man, that's like bath water. Yeah. <laughs> Woo!